Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good to have everyone after the lunch session. But we have got a very powerful panel and a very important topic. So I hope all of you will enjoy that as such. Now, all of us agree that uh, with technology and digitization, almost every sector is getting disrupted. It's happening in all the other sectors. And even in education, it's bound to happen very soon. Though, yes, uh, there are figures of uh, how many years it's going to take place. <laughs> that is debatable. Uh, Clay Christensen, uh, who is one of the faculties at Harvard, has predicted that by 2035, 50% of the universities in US are going to go bankrupt. So that's a big number what we are talking about. And um, the task which is very difficult for us as educators is that we have to prepare our students for the jobs of tomorrow. Now 60% of the jobs which they'll be working with won't exist today. So we don't know even what those jobs are going to be. And we'll have to adapt as such. The previous efforts of digitization have been mainly into increasing the efficiency. But if you want to have real digitization in the universities, it has to be looking at the core fundamentals and how to change them. We should not be looking at bettering the uh, traditional models, but we should be looking at how we could develop new models using, using digitization. <coughs> We have had some very good experiences uh, of going to, into the digital way. We were the first business school in India to collaborate with Harvard Business School for the HBX program. Uh, we have also signed up uh, very recently with IMBX. It has been an experience which has been a learning curve. So when we thought we are going with Harvard, we found that the HBX score is very intensive and our students couldn't really cope up with it. And uh, what we had to do was give a, a intervention in a blended mode. Once the blended mode was given, we found that, yes, there was a big increase in how much what we could leverage from the program as such. I was also one of the privileged members to attend HBA Live when it was in its beta stages. So I yet remember doing a session with the dean of uh, Harvard, Nitin Nuria, and uh, it's absolutely seamless. You know, it got to a point where it scared me. He, he did a role play with me. All of us were on a two Mbps connection, 80 of us from probably 10 countries. <laughs> and I got almost 85% of what I could get from a Harvard classroom. <laughs> and what Das was saying is right, that I'm sure they're developing backlink systems in AI, where actually a faculty will be flagged and told that, yes, this student is losing it. <laughs> He's losing his focus or whatever. I, I think technology makes that definitely possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, what I think what we need in the forward is change, adapt, and innovate new business models. And uh, we have a lovely panel here from varied backgrounds. Uh, how, what we are going to do is I'm going to ask each of the panelists to speak for 15 minutes. And then we could have a small uh, discussion and then move on to the audience as such. Uh, so. Uh, we talk of gender bias into education, but uh, I think uh, you being the senior most ma'am, uh, oh. we would go ahead with you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And you're going to, I think, talk about uh, the future of universities post-MOOC. Yeah. 